Hi there, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I'm going to talk about Scorching Ray the Spell. This is part of my Dungeons and Dragons 5e spell video series. You can find Scorching Ray on page 273 of the Player's Handbook. Scorching Ray is a second level spell. It is an evocation spell so it creates an elemental effect when you cast the spell. It has a casting time of one action which means you can't cast a bonus action spell or make an attack with your weapon during that round, you can only cast Scorching Ray. It has a range of 120 feet. It has a verbal and somatic component, which means you speak a few arcane words and perform a magical gesture. And you can create three rays of fire and hurl them at a target within your range. You can hurl these rays at one target or at several targets. You make a ranged spell attack for every single ray that you fire, and on a hit, the target takes 2d6 fire damage. Now a lot of people have been rolling the damage once, but you have to roll damage for every single ray. The wizard will target all three skeletons, although he could target just one. He has a ranged spell attack modifier or bonus of five, and I need to roll three dice. Three attacks, three rays. So he gets a nine. So nine plus five is fourteen. 14 is equal to or greater than the armor class of a skeleton. The armor class of a skeleton is only 13, so that's one hit. I also got a 6. Now if you add that to the spell attack modifier or bonus, that's only going to come to 11. So 11 is not equal to or greater than 13, which is the armor class of the skeleton, so that attack is going to miss. The last ray was a 14, which comes to a total of 19. So, two rays strike their target and do damage. Let's roll the damage. Take 2d6. So I got a 3 and a 5. So 3 and 5 is going to equal 8. So 8 damage on one of the skeletons. And then I need to roll these dice again and do the same thing. So 6 and 2. So 6 plus 2 equals 8. Oh, just this. And 8 fire damage on another skeleton. So that is how Scorching Ray works. When you cast the spell at a higher level, so if you were to cast it at third level rather than at second level, you get to hurl out another ray. That means another 20 sided dice roll. Okay? And with that dice roll, you also have to roll separate damage. If you cast the spell at 4th level, which you can, you get yet another ray. And you have to roll separate damage for that as well. And so forth. For every level that you cast it higher than its original level, you get another ray. There's really nothing more to say about Scorching Ray other than burn, baby, burn, and keep burning it. If you found this video helpful, please share, like, and subscribe if you have not done so already. Make a comment below if you have any questions about Scorching Ray, I will answer those questions. And if there's anything that I missed that I needed to put into the video, please let me know in the comments. Till next time, keep rolling those 20s. <laughs>